Welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to work with dynamic fields in React Hook form. In the previous video, we learned how to manage the state of a form field as an array. We added a property called phone numbers to the default values object and assigned an array with two empty strings. In the JSX, we added two input elements for each of those indexes phone numbers of 0 phone numbers of 1. This approach works fine to collect two phone numbers from the user, but if you want to collect multiple phone numbers or addresses, for example, you would need dynamic fields. Dynamic fields give the user the option to add or remove fields based on their needs. Let's see how to implement a dynamic field to collect the user's phone numbers in React Hook form. Let's start with the first step which is to import a new hook that React Hook form provides. It is called use field array. Second step, add a new property to form values type. Let's call this ph numbers. And this is going to be an array of objects. Each object has a number key of type string. We have an array of objects instead of an array of strings because use field array works only with object values. So phone numbers is an array of objects and each object contains a property called number where we will actually store the phone number value. Now for the third step, we need to add the same property to our default values object ph numbers. This is going to be an array and by default we will have one object. Number and the value will be an empty string. Remember we start by asking for one phone number so only one value to begin with. Step 4 we need to specify the phone numbers field as an array of fields. For that, we invoke use field array. Pass an object as argument with name set to ph numbers. And we set the control option equal to control returned from the use form hub. Use field array will then return an array of fields which we can use in the JSX. Let's destructure it. Const fields destructured from the object returned from use field array. Step 5, we need to add the JSX. Now this step is a little verbose, so we will be breaking this down into further steps to understand what exactly is happening. For step 5.1, Let's add the div tag and the label. List of phone numbers. For step 5.2, add a div tag that will wrap all the phone number fields. Within the div tag, we map over the fields array. So curly braces, fields dot map. Fields is what we have destructured from the object returned from use field array. For the callback function, we get access to each field and the index. Here, field refers to each object in the values array. We will render each object as a form control. So div tag, class name is equal to form control, and key prop set to field.id. React Hook form recommends field.id and not the index for correct behavior. Next, we add an input element of type text and we register with phone numbers dot index dot number. 
it is okay to use map index here. We specify as const to make TypeScript happy. Make sure to return the div tag. For step 5.3, we're going to add buttons to add and remove phone number fields. Let's start with adding a field. Just outside the curly braces, add a button of type button with the text add phone number. For the on click handler, we need to add a new object into the values array. For that, use field array hook returns a function called append. Let's destructure it. So fields, comma, append from use field array. Now, within the click handler function, call append, passing in an object with number set to an empty string. This will add a new entry into our ph numbers array. Along similar lines, let's also add a remove phone number button. The remove button though will be associated with each phone number field, so we need to add it within curly braces. Right after the input element, we start with curly braces and we add a condition that the remove button should be displayed only if index is greater than zero. We don't want the user removing every phone number field. At least one has to be entered. Now, if the index is indeed greater than zero, we add the JSX for a button similar to the add phone number button. So let me copy and paste it. This time though, instead of append, we destructure a function called remove from use field array and call that function. The function accepts index as argument. Let's call this button remove. The button will now appear for every phone number that is not the first number. And that should be it. If we head back to the browser, we should see the newly added list of phone numbers field. The CSS isn't great, but that's okay. Fill in a number, click add, and we see a new field with empty value. We can add as many fields as we want to. Each of the newly added fields will have a remove button. Click on remove, and the appropriate field is removed from the form. The data is intact without any change in sequence of the fields. This is how you work with dynamic fields in React Hook form. Import use field array at the top. Add a new field with an array of objects as value. Destructure fields append and remove from use field array and build the JSX to your liking. Apart from append and remove, there are a few more functions that use field array hook provides for array manipulation. Please have a look at the docs when you get the time. Now, if this is slightly difficult to understand, please watch it a few more times or revisit this after you watch the entire series. Once you have the overall picture of React hook form, Rewatching videos will make much more sense and help you understand in lesser time. All right, thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.